What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Shout out to y'all for tuning in, man. Thank y'all so much for subscribing. I promise you this month I'm going to be consistent on this channel. You ain't even got to worry about it. You ain't even got to worry about, okay? Now, we about to get into... Uh, shout out to my good sis voice, King Sid ex girlfriend pissed after video. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. In my previous video, Brie spoke out about Ooh. King Sid. That link is hopping up as well as is down below. But now Brie is mad at me because I didn't post a whole lot. I really don't appreciate y'all talking bits and parts from my live, trying to act like I spoke out. It's not my business. I don't care. Leave me out of the drama. I'm happy and out the mix. I would never try to ruin someone's career or image. That's whack as F. I've always wished the best for him regardless uh, of my situation. Bri, you are a pretty nice young lady, but friend, I'm not posting up 40 minutes of your live. Friend, I post up the clips where you were mainly talking Not your live was 40 minutes. <laughs> fucking Sid, which that was in between other questions you were answering. So I just put the clips all together. But here's what she had to say. Guys, I have a serious question because I'm a little freaking upset uh -oh. about what I just saw. I know it's late as f but I have a question. First of all, I like your shirt. I'm highly upset. So someone decided to take bits and pieces from my live trying to act like I spoke out on a situation that I didn't speak out on. Uh -huh. And to be honest, tomorrow, if y'all really want me to speak out, if I knew I was being recorded, I would have said things completely different. You didn't know you was being recorded. <laughs> Friends, stop. All oh, y'all, stop. Stop the press. If don't nobody else say it, I'm going to say it. Y'all niggas be lying. Now, you know damn well you the last ex from King Sid, and you know damn well everybody's exposing him for being uh, uh, a DM uh, person, okay? He is DMing, or oh, excuse me, DVing the hell out of everybody, okay, allegedly, right? DVN. For those that don't know, look it up. So with that being said, you was the last person who was with him. Why the hell wouldn't they record your live and knowing you gonna say something about it? So I know if you didn't want nobody to know or if you didn't want nobody to, to even think about, you know, what you was feeling or whatever, you shouldn't even say it nothing. That's crazy. Like, I chose to stay out of this. Okay, I, I need to go to the video that she spoke on. So everyone has been talking out about the King Sis situation. Link down below if you haven't seen my previous video. But well, Brie King Sis X did speak out. And here's what she had to say. Karma is falling right now. The people that did you wrong. 100%. Uh, uh, 100%. What? I thought you didn't say nothing. And you weren't trying to make it look a certain way now, friend. And that's a good thing about life. Like, you don't have to stoop low. You don't have to get your get back. Life will play out how it needs to play out. Wow. Eventually. Because I guess he'd be some don't talk about it. I honestly want to see you make a video. But you're 100%. The others are boring. It's just like you do that and like it's like, oh my God, drama for the moment. And like, oh my God, tea for the moment. And then in two months, it doesn't matter. Nothing's going to change. You know what I mean? That video did not nothing for you. Like, it's not going to matter. So why do it? Why stoop low and do that? Huh? When it's doing nothing. What? You can save the next girl. Why mind your business? Because I don't need to save anyone. Facts. I don't need to save anyone. That's not my job. Like... Also, this ain't your job. You shouldn't have answered none of these questions if you didn't want any involvement in it. I mean, come on. My job is me, my people, my family, my friends. Like, it's not my job. I'm with you when you write on that one. For real. I don't understand. What's dead in the dark will always come to light. Exactly. You don't need to do that because eventually life is going to happen how it needs to happen. And you're just like, you know, putting yourself in the shit. I'm not on no one's side because I don't care about any of these people. They're not in my life. They don't benefit. I, don't, I feel like a robot. There's no side to have. I don't care. I don't care. It's not my business. <laughs> Why the hell are you talking about it then, friend? This don't seem like this ain't your business. This don't seem like... You didn't want any involvement. This seemed like you wanted a T page to record it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Gosh. Whoa, shit. Y'all let, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below from a viewer standpoint. Does it seem like she didn't want no involvement in this? I got to know. 
I so it was know. rumors that Offset didn't show up to Kaisenet seven days in because Kaisenet gave Offset new. Okay, I'm so sorry. And now I got to go back to the other video because she over here capping. <laughs> I didn't want any involvement. She trying to make it seem like I was uh, speaking out. Well, technically you are. Out of this mess. <laughs> I did not want bits and pieces took from my life to make it look like I said something because I would have said something that I actually wanted on the internet. <sighs> and I'm pissed. So low key, high key. Tomorrow I might go live and really give y'all what you're looking for. I thought you me. didn't want any involvement. How is it that just because a T page put that out now you want to speak out and really tell the T? Like I thought you didn't want to tell the T. I thought none of these people mattered. I thought all these people don't. You know, ain't shit to you basically. That's what you said. Um, you know, allegedly. So it's just like, what, what do you want? <laughs> or should I not do that? No, you no, you shouldn't. You shouldn't do that because you don't want any involvement. You don't want anybody talking about the whole situation. You don't want none of this. None of this. Shit. Because that's how I'm feeling right now. Like, highly upset. That's no, crazy. It's like they took bits and pieces from my live of me just like babbling or like just saying like little things and try to put it together saying I spoke out. I would have gave you something to use if I knew that I was going to be on the Internet. I didn't want that on YouTube. I was on live like talking in my live and they took my words and they made it seem like I made a statement. That shit's lame as fuck. Honestly. Honestly, because I would never, ever try to ruin someone's image or a career regardless of what happened so don't act like i freaking spoke out or said anything i don't give a fuck it's none of my business i've moved on i'm out of the drama don't fucking post me in the drama i'm literally so mad right now i hate the internet she mad at herself gang the motherfucking internet let me tell y'all something to you. All, all y'all uh, influencers that don't want any involvement with none of this drama, none of none of nothing. It's called don't say nothing. Like our parents used to tell us, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say it at all, which means don't say it. Like it's, it's, it's power in ignoring things. It's power in acting like the shit ain't there. I mean, she seems as though she's so nonchalant and, and whatever. And, and just, you know, I don't care. Girl, she was supposed to be talking about whatever's going on in your her life. You know what I'm saying? Literally. Not addressing King Sid at all. I would have let it be known. I ain't got nothing to do with it. My name Bennett. Leave me up out of it. If I really don't want involvement in something, I'm really not going to involve myself. So now you got posted, and now it's to the point where you like, well, since I got posted, I'm just about to spill it all. Okay, so now you're really going to involve yourself because you're going to spill some tea that nobody even asked you for. I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. But... And it's like, why would you choose? None of these influencers want to listen to me. <laughs> they just mad as hell that they get posted. Bro, y'all don't. Nobody can post you if you don't post what is given. Like real shit. Some people do create narratives and I despise those people. I don't like people that create narratives. Okay. I, I, I really don't. And when people mind their business, leave them alone. You know what I'm saying? However, this is a situation right now that is, is relevant with your ex like come on bro that's just crazy With certain bits and pieces that's what's pissing me off because i said a lot more on that live <sighs> so if you were gonna post my live you should have posted the whole thing not pieces because what the fuck don't make it look like i said something i didn't say ah uh, you, you said it, it but do it on youtube upload to <laughs> express honestly no, that's the whole point. If I wanted to be on YouTube and do it, I would have. And I didn't. I don't want to be on YouTube. Don't use parts of my live. And if you're going to use parts of my live, post the whole live. Y'all, this is public information. Your lives are public information. As soon as you go live and you put it out, anybody. I would love to go get some tissue right now. Make it seem like I said something I didn't. I'm so livid right now. I don't think you should speak out to bring into drama. They already brought me into drama. You brought yourself in, honey. Like you brought yourself in. And then these don't influencers care. don't never want to have no <laughs> damn accountability. How is it that you was brought into it, uh, but you came out saying it, anything about it? How, how is it that somebody else brought you into it? Maybe because you saying that she posted it to her platform. If she didn't post it, somebody else would have got it, bro. Somebody else would have got it. It would have been posted regardless. Alone. 
Let it be. I'll show your bum. Don't go. Everybody been waiting on you. God, I was just laying in bed, like scrolling, and I'm like, Bree speaks out. Who spoke out? Watching the live, and it's like the worst parts of my live. They should have added when I said people need to mind their business. People need to mind their business that pays them because other people's life and other people's drama has nothing to do with them. They would be better off minding their fucking business than worrying about other people. That's what they should have put. I'm mad. Even if you speak out, they'll only post a negative press. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm livid. You're right. I need to just let it go. But I really don't like how they did me like that. Like, we weren't even talking about that. Making eyes. I ain't making gonna lie. She did herself like that. Am I tripping, y'all? Is she taking any accountability here? Did 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 she or did she not speak on King Sid in general? Okay, and with that being said, her speaking on him, is anybody wrong for recording it and putting it on YouTube or Instagram? Isn't that isn't that where we are today in life? Like let's like come on, y'all. Let's talk about it. That's where we are. Come on, bro. Because he claimed that he's single, but he did this young lady a lot lately. Now, yesterday they were caught on the beach by a fan in an intimate position. And we're still waiting for the papers because he said weeks ago that he was going to send Carmen the divorce papers. But we have yet to see them. But y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Now, DDG had this to say about... Y'all, that girl looked just like Carmen. No cap. He has a type. Do you hear me? And that's okay. This to say about Hallie. We have a lot of fun together. Privately. Um, but publicly is is a challenge because um, she uh. has very very beloved supporters that beloved was a good just word for being present. So um, that's the difficult part. It's like I feel like her supporters feel like they her parents, and she like a little girl. Mm. She a grown woman. I feel like they forget that, so they, you know, they just overprotective, which is cool. But sometimes they be a little mean to me. We not <laughs> I like when DDG talk about people being mean to him. Not because I want people to be mean to him. It's just cute. He be in his little baby mode. But anyway, uh, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, especially about Bree Chad, because Bree done brought this on herself, blaming voice, and I just disagree. Um. But other than that, I love y'all so much, man. Make sure y'all continue to subscribe, continue to tap in. I will be consistent on this channel from now on. I had to get my other channels together, but we are here and I'm back. All right, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.